Hello, U.S. History students here in Remote Learning Day number 12. It is Tuesday, April 7th of 2020. So I'm down in my uh, basement tonight, um, setting up my 3D printer. I'm actually printing these things for the uh, local hospital and for my sister-in-law who's a nurse in Scotts Bluff and I have another sister-in-law that's a nurse here in North Kansas City. And these are straps that you use for surgical masks. And what you do is you actually put it behind your head and then the little loop that you have that typically goes behind your ear goes around this thing and then it saves it from uh, putting a lot of pressure on your ear. So I've been printing these up quite a bit. Um, I can put four on the bed at a time. Uh, it takes about a half an hour for each one. So for um, a set of four, I can do that in about two hours. And what I did was I went on um, Tinkercad, got the main design, somebody in Canada actually was the original one to design it. And then I made a couple that have some unique designs. These are the ones I'm sending to my sister-in-law in Nebraska. So I put Nebraska strong, and then I'm making a whole bunch for the Liberty Hospital, and they'll have a little state of Missouri, and it says Liberty next to it. Um, it's just kind of like a fun way to kind of personalize it. So um, I brought my printer home the last day that we could take stuff out of our classroom, brought on my filament home. It's a pretty easy print, it's really thin, um, and um, it's not too hard to put on the bed. So trying to do whatever I can to kind of help out. So um, that's what's happening in the basement today. All right, so yesterday you guys picked your topics. I, I checked tonight, um, I'm filming this on Monday night, and you guys, uh, for the most part, have filled it out. There's maybe a couple people that still have it. If you haven't selected your topic yet, make sure you go in and select it and secure your topic before you do the research. So what I'd like you to do for the next several days is um, just find out as much as you can about that topic. Maybe you picked um, photography in the Civil War. Uh, maybe you picked the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. Whatever you picked, okay? Go ahead and just find um, whatever websites you can. I have a Google Doc for you that I'm going to have you guys kind of use as a way to kind of collect information as you find it. Um, the Google Doc you'll make a copy of, and then there's a place for you on the Google Doc to put the link, the source of the links. So maybe it's a museum, maybe it's a, um, a particular you know author website, whatever. But you're going to put the link and then the name of the website, and then a place where you're going to put down some notes. Maybe you find a picture that you want to use. You can copy the picture and put it on there. You're eventually going to make like a little video-y type production project thing. So if you find a great picture, go ahead and put it on there. I've got a place on the Google Doc for five different websites. Um, so I'm going to have you do that for like the next several days. Um, but just find five really good websites about your topic. Um, put down some little notes about it. And then once we actually give you the instructions for making the project, if you guys have all that stuff filled out, it's going to make it like a hundred times easier for you. So that's really all I want you to do today is just dig into your topic. Um, hopefully you picked a topic that's kind of a little bit interesting to you. Should be a little bit fun. Um, so find five websites, fill out that Google Doc. Nothing to turn in right now. Just go ahead and fill that out. I'll have you guys turn it in later in the week. So that's it. So uh, dig in a little bit. Have a good time. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I did put some grades on the grade book yesterday. I don't have most people's moving on projects on there yet, still working through those. But um, I put about probably four or five other assignments up. Um, if there's a blank spot in the grade book, that means I don't have it from you yet. So go ahead and turn it in. Every couple of days I go through and I check and see if maybe uh, an assignment has been turned in late. And then I can go ahead and give you guys credit for it once I get it. If I don't see it, I can't give you credit for it. But some of you guys have really improved your grade quite a bit because um, you guys are turning stuff in, you're getting a good grade on it, and it's going into power school. So, all right. So research your topic. Have a good day today. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.